Hello guys and welcome to another vlog. Hopefully this one will be a little bit more interesting because I just edited yesterday's vlog which is meant to go live today. Yes, and it was pretty boring. I think it's probably my least favorite vlog that I ever filmed and this is kind of upsetting because I did love the Wadston Manor. I was just raining a lot, it was very windy. So I think the majority of the things that I filmed were inedible because of the wind and yeah, it's just, it was not really working out. And then my camera got all wet and the footage late in the night is just very blurry. So a lot of things going on. I think I'm just gonna try to keep a lot of my like vlogs inside just so you can hear me better and I have better control on how I look and what I'm saying because also I think that I look horrible. But anyways, as you can see today, my place has been decorated. I got this huge mirror ball for some props for the like, campaigns that I have coming up, Christmas content. And then I also got these like LED strip lights, which I think I have somewhere hidden there. I'll eventually put them in my room because you can actually control them with your iPhone as well. So that is pretty cool. But as I will be shooting in a hotel again, I think I'm gonna book one for tomorrow and day after. Sorry, I'm not gonna stick them on a wall until I film all the content that I have to do. Also, what is that? Sorry, I thought I got a message from my mom because it's her birthday today. Uh, also, I changed the location of my mirror. I feel like it's always so tricky having my mirror behind the camera. I mean, it's nice because I can see myself, but in terms of the space, it doesn't really work very well. But that has been all the updates uh, over the past, I guess, morning. And I actually wanted to show you a couple of pieces that I got recently from um, St. Pancras International. I went there a couple of days to kind of see the Christmas decorations. They invited me there to have like a shopping spree and then some dinner and a little bit of champagne at the Cersei's which was very very nice and they ended up giving me a couple of gifts. Some of them are already eaten. For instance I went into the Fortnite Mason which I love so much. They gave me the Christmas Nutcracker biscuits, cranberries, almonds and pistachios so very very good obviously fully empty as it's been already a couple of days and i was stress eating the past couple of days they also gave me this sparkling tea which i had no idea that you could have sparkling tea it has a very cute like um thing though it says merry christmas uh elf vogue i mean I don't know why I love Vogue, but I think that's how I have my name on my email. So maybe they thought that that's how um, I'm called. Well, I'm not, but that's all right. But yeah, going back to it, it's actually alcohol free. I thought they were giving me a champagne, but it's sparkling tea, like a champagne, but in a tea form with no alcohol. I'm not really sure, to be honest, if I'm going to be opening that anytime soon because I like alcohol. As I said, they gave me some money to buy something from the St. Pancras International station. They have a lot of stores there from like Fort Mimations to like Chanel, like makeup Chanel, a Gant, Hamleys, uh, what else do they have? Espresso, just a lot of like a wide variety of stores is what I'm trying to say and I wanted to get a lot of like Christmassy food from Ford Mason's because I always love their products but I never like spend so much money on like nice quality ingredients and nice quality items so I really was planning on doing that but then I realized that I've been wanting like a coffee machine for so many years now I think this has been like the past two years that I've been looking into getting one so I thought I might as well do that this year since I had the voucher and utilize it for something that is going to last me a lot longer than a couple of food items which I'll realistically eat within like a few days. So I ended up getting the Nespresso Virtual Machine which turns out is the one with the bigger capsules so not like your usual Nespresso capsules which is a little bit tricky because there's not that many flavors and I do like like flavored coffee. And one of the reasons why I wanted like an espresso machine was because they always come up with these new fun flavors like the barista edition. But the good thing about it is that you can pick uh, all the way from an espresso size which is normally what like the I guess normal espresso machine would do to a full-on mug size and I usually take my coffee with milk either ways and I like them being quite like big. I never really jug down like a coffee. I always drink it and it could take me like a couple of hours to actually finish a cup, especially when I'm home. So it's actually quite nice and I think it's going to work a lot better for me as I like bigger coffees. The good thing about it is that we're giving you 
four months uh, worth of capsules so I have tons of capsules and tons of flavors to choose from and it's always a nice experience waking up and picking what I'm going to drink for today next thing that I got was I think from Calvin Klein they only had the underwear store so I ended up picking like just literally a three pack of cotton stretch briefs that is it but the fun thing about it is that they actually have a uh, green and gray color I only have black colors in Calvin Klein's so the moment I saw that there is a red color involved I instantly picked those because these are going to be my Christmas underwear so I felt like it's kind of cute and Christmassy I did end up getting them a size bigger though than I currently wear which I don't know why I did that but I am getting bigger so I figured better be spacious than very very tight so I think did I get anything else? I did actually. So another thing that I got, which I've not opened yet, I, I don't think I'll be using it for myself, is a fragrance from Jo Malone. They gave me the opportunity to go through and explore the fragrances with someone there. And I tried a couple. They had some very nice Christmassy ones, which I kind of regretted not getting. I don't really remember the name of it, but it's one that is only like available this year. It's kind of like an exclusive for 2020 because I put this one which is the pomegranate noir in one of my hand and then I put the Christmas one in the other one because these were kind of the two scents that they had the Christmas packaging so I figured if I'm gonna get something and it's for the Christmas season might as well have like a different packaging so I ended up going for the pomegranate noir because if I am going to give it as a gift I think this is like kind of the most classic fragrance that Jo Malone has so I wanted to play it safe for my gift I don't know who I'm gonna gift it to my mom I don't have a sister somebody that I know that is a female possibly I mean it is a male scent as well I don't know I feel like Jo Malone is kind of like a heritage classic more like female driven brand so I would want to give it to somebody who's gonna appreciate it a lot more than me as I already have my staples and I don't think I'll be using that but going back to it I put pomegranate noir in one and the Christmas one in the other and after I was like after I left the store and a couple of hours passed I ended up loving so much the Christmassy one like it was a little bit more intense and spicy and I'm instantly drawn to those kind of notes but oh well I'm sure this will be appreciated whoever receives it but yeah this is also something that I got from the station so this is kind of my mini haul of the day the rest of my day will be me taking photos to put on my depot because I have neglected that and I'm coming up having so many clothes around me at the moment that is really annoying and I'm still not even getting a Christmas tree because I don't think I have space for one this year so I'm kind of trying to get rid of my Depop clothes and probably my Depop items will be up by the time that this vlog goes live. So I'm going to have a link in the description below. Please guys have a look and buy if you like something. Also feel free to negotiate as well. I don't really mind. If you like something, send me a message and we can talk more in detail. But that is kind of the plan for the day. And then for the evening, I'll be going to Kew Gardens, which I'm very excited about. I went there last year for the first time after living in London for like I want to say five six years now and I loved it so much I generally think this is the best thing you can do around Christmas time I was on the website yesterday and everything seemed to be sold out but then I refreshed and a slot came up for the next day at 7.20 for two people so I instantly booked it and I'm very excited to see what they have come up with this year hello guys I'm just about to leave and this is what I'm wearing for the evening so underneath I'm wearing my Ralph Lauren shirt I love the stripes on these and anything really dark green and then on top I think I'm gonna go with my Ralph Lauren um, polo bear sweater it is quite cold outside, it's actually raining, so I'm gonna have to definitely add some layers. So I'm thinking of maybe putting that on top of these. And then eventually, if I go and have dinner after the light installation, I can just take it off and wrap it around me. Let me just wear that now, and then I think I'm gonna go with like a gold, maybe a necklace in here, just when I, I take off my sweater. There's something kind of sewing, and it's a little bit more interesting. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, this is very bright in the back, but I think this is the finished look for the night. I just really ended up wearing my gold chain necklace from Crafted London. I get a lot of questions about this. And then I went ahead and wore my Zara overcoat. This is also a new pick. I'm sorry for the mess at the back. I was just uploading like items on my Depop. But as I was saying, this is kind of a new pick that I got from Zara. I was meant to return this, but then I really 
loved the fit of these. It's kind of the oversized fit and boxy fit that I'm looking for in coats. And even though I do have a couple of blue coats, none of them fit this interestingly, interesting, interestingly. Ooh. So I thought I would get these kind of for myself as in like an early Christmas present. And then for my shoes, I decided to go for my ass sneakers that I wore the last time in the Wadstone Manor when I went for the other like Christmas trail. They're already very mud as you can see. So I thought I'll just wear the same ones again, just right before I clean them. Might as well put them to use. I don't want to ruin any other pair of my shoes. So these will have to do. I didn't have this last year. This is so pretty. So we just seen two of the installations, but I think it's time for a mold wine. It is not as cold as yesterday, I must admit, and it's not raining even though it was up to 30 minutes ago. So we got lucky with a lot of things today. We almost even missed our admission time, but now there is the first stop of the day. Fantastic, thank you. Next, please. So this is the smallest uh, out of the two conservatories and they always have the light projection every year. I think you should change and I think it's starting right now. So beautiful. Is this your favorite part so far? Mm. I think I know what it is now, and it is my favorite part from last year, and I'm so glad they still have it this year because it is beautiful. And now we're walking into the last part of the trail. As you can see, they have uh, some like fountains and a light, so it projects into here. And yeah, excited to see it this year too. Hello, 
guys, so we just came to eat something and I went to Google and I found this Italian place here in Kew. Never actually been here, last time I was here. I went to this amazing French place that I just tried the gardens. But this time I thought I would try something different. Also like they had amazing reviews, everybody was rating it 5 on 5. So we just got our starters and we got a bruschetta and then I would not, I'm not gonna try to say that in Italian, but I think it has um, aubergine and cheese, and that's about it. So, yeah, smells very, very nice. So, I'm looking forward to eating something. So, our maize is here, and you got a spicy sausage, uh, tagliatelle, I think. I'm not really sure. One of the passes were finished, so they changed it up to, I think, tagliatelle, and then I went for the Vitello Salty Boca, which is a veal escalope with parma ham, sage and white wine. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try a little bit of both to be honest. So many things, there's just so many good things on the menu that I just didn't know what to have. The appetizers were so, so good, like probably one of my favorite Italian places that I've been here in London. I didn't end up taking off my sweater either, so here we have the polar bear in its full glory. I feel like I'm dressed for Christmas today, but you know what, it's fine. We are in the Christmas season, so it's excusable.